this is a smart hall, a smart house. We have a PLC, Siemens, a redundant battery system. We have a start push button, reset push button. We have also a battery system, which is controlled by the same push button. We have room number two, room number one. The room number two is controlled by the lighting sensitivity, and the room number one is controlled by the day of the or the time of the day. So by pressing the start button, the system starts working. So right here we will see the voltage of our battery supply system. Per default, the voltage is coming from the primary system. If the primary falls, then the, the system will switch automatically to the backup. Now, right now, the PLC is getting the time, uh, night time. So that's why we have 100% of lightning in room number two, as well as in the battery. Now, for room number one, we have only 60% because it's not fully dark. Now we are going to simulate that darkness right here. Now we have 100%. On the other hand, we have the security system, which is this push button. Now it's armed. The security system will work based on this proximity sensor. So if someone approaches, in this distance, then the hole will be completely lighted up. This, that guy continues approaching. Then the system will be active and also the hole will be full in every second. By pressing the same push button for the security system, it will recognize the the, the, the event. Now, let, now, right now, the system is getting voltage from the primary. Let's fail that primary. So the system will automatically switch to the secondary. Now, keep in mind, the lightning is 60%. It's not 100% because it recognizes there is something wrong with the battery system. Now, it, it enters in an in efficient mode. To recover, the battery, just like this, and the system will enter automatically in 100%. The same, the same happens with the, from the secondary. So you will see the change. Less than a second, it will be a pulse, and then the system will enter again in saving mode. Now it's normal. 